All right, Shalom, Brother Kabar back with our GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible real well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. All right, that's not one to get into, man. Um, but well, the title is the Bible is uh, only for you Israelites, okay? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. So without further ado, uh, I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, first precept I'm going to, I'm going to Amos chapter three, and I'm start at the top. It says, "Hear this word." That's right. Amos is saying, hear this word, not the words of the book of the dead, the book of the Quran, okay, the book of the Mormons, okay, all these <coughs> other false uh, religious books, okay, Amos is saying what, Amos 3 and 1, hear this word, okay, this word that the Lord, Yahweh Bashmi Shai, has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Once again, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. You are the children of Israel, whether you want to believe it or not, man. Whether you hear, whether you forbear. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the biblical Hebrew Israelites, man. Okay? It says, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Saying, see, Yahweh uh, uh, uh raised up the whole family of Israel. During that time, man. Okay. Verse 2, it says, look, no other gods. Okay. It wasn't Buddha there. It wasn't Allah. It wasn't King Tut. Okay. It wasn't yourselves. It was Yahweh by Shimei Shai who delivered the whole uh, 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 nation of Israel, man. Okay. Verse 2, it says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. And look, that's a racist statement right there because the Lord said out of all the families on the earth, he's we're the only uh, family that he knows, man, that he's pretty much dealing with, man. Okay? So the, the Bible is for you Israelites, man. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, it says, I read that, that verse again. It's Amos 3 and 2. It says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore... I will punish you for all your iniquities, which is sin upon sin, man. So you wondering why you're the first fire, last hire? You wondering why you're living in the ghettos, uh, the barrios, uh, uh, the, the, the reservations, okay? You ever wonder why? It's because you Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and look, you went against your power, man. See, the Lord, we're the children of the Lord, man. And what do you do to your children when they get out of line? You punish them. And we're up on a punishment right now, man. We're still in slavery. Okay? Up on the so-called white man. Who was Esau Edom in the, in the scriptures, man. Alright? So the, the reason why we're on, on the bottom. Okay? Like crabs in a barrel. While we're... While, while, while we're uh, uh, um, like I was going to in the hood. Okay? Uh, um... Filling up these hospitals, filling up these uh these uh prison, these prisons, okay? That's because we were against our power, man. Okay. And and um we fit the curses, man. We fit the curses uh throughout the scriptures, man. You know? We're the ones that came over in cargo slave ships, man. Okay? When you read in Deuteronomy twenty eighth chapter, alright? We're the ones that this, 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 uh, uh, don't know who we are out here, man. The Israelites don't know who they are, man. They're calling themselves black. They're calling themselves uh, Native American. They're calling themselves Latino. They're not calling themselves Yasha Allah, okay? Which means he is prince of the power, okay? So I'm going to grab another precept showing you that the Bible is only for the Israelites, man. And the Lord is only dealing with Israel. 
All right. This is um. This is Psalms. Yep. Psalms 147 and 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob. Okay. And who's that he? That he's talking about Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Okay. Because the Lord gave the word to Moses, man. And Moses gave it to the children of Israel. We can get that next too. It says, This is Psalms 147 and 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob, okay, whose name was later changed to Israel after he wrestled the angel, man, okay. So it reads, he showeth his word unto Jacob, his statues and his judgments unto Israel, okay. So that, that, that proves right there this word is only for Jacob, man. Okay, who's the forefather of, of the Israelites, man? So-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. All right? Hey, look, I'm going to read it again. This is Psalms 147 and 19. He show off his word unto Jacob, his statues, and his judgments <coughs> unto Israel, man. So that's why we're, we're, we're being uh, punished like we're being punished, man, because the Lord only gave us the word, man. Okay? The scriptures are for us, man. All right, and I got a quick precept. This is a slack here. Let's see here. I'm just going to read on. Slaki. I thought I had a precept. Slaki Akim. All right. This is uh, Second Ezra. Um, not Second Ezra. But, um, Psalms 147 and um, 20. It says, He have not dealt so with any nation. So you have Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the world can call God and Jesus Christ. They have not dealt so with any other nation, man. That's why these heathens can go out and uh, eat shrimp, eat pork, eat crab. Eat mice, eat rat, eat frogs, and not not get punished for it, man. You know, or not get sick from it. Okay, because the law, statute, commandments wasn't given to them, man. The scriptures was not given to these heathens, man. It was given to the children of Israel. It says, um, Psalms one forty seven and twenty. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for their judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye the Lord. That's right. So they don't know the judgments, man. Why? Because they wasn't at the bottom of Mount Sinai, man. Okay? Where uh, Moses was talking to the children of Israel. Okay? And we're we gonna, um, we gonna get that real quick. Let's see here. Let's see here. Got a quick precept. Uh, I found it. <clears throat> this is Psalms. I mean, not Psalms. This is Second Ezra. Chapter 3, verse 34. It says, Weigh thou therefore our wickedness now in the balance, and theirs also that dwell in the world. And so shall thy name nowhere be found but in Israel. See, the Israelites has the name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who the word we call God in Jesus Christ. Okay, because the Lord's only dealing with the children of Israel, man. It says, uh, Okay, verse 35 it says or when was it that they which dwelt upon the earth have not sinned in thy sight or what people have kept thy commandments thou shalt find that Israel by name have kept thy precepts but not the heathens man that's right so the Israelites are the ones who can keep the precepts man okay not you heathens because the Lord is not dealing with you the Lord was never dealing with you other nations man he's only been dealing with the children of Israel which consists of the so called Negroes Latinos and Native Americans, okay. And um, just to prove the, 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 that the Lord is uh, that the Lord's only dealing with the children of Israel, I'm gonna close out on this last one. Um, 
This is uh, Leviticus. I might end it off on Leviticus. I don't know yet. This is Leviticus 26 and 46. It says, These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel. See, if, 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 this, if the scriptures was for everybody, it would say that the Lord made between him and, the, and everybody, you know, all the nations. But it doesn't say that, man. It's Leviticus 26 and 46. It says, These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, made between him and the children of Israel and Mount Sinai by the hands of Moses. So there it is, man. Okay? These scriptures, these law, statutes, commandments, not religion. These law, statutes, and commandments, not religion. Okay? Was given to the children of Israel. And that's it, man. Point blank, period, man. You know, this was only given to the children of Israel, man. Okay, I got another one before I close. This is uh, Baruch chapter 3, verse 9. Hear, Israel, the commandments of life. Give ear to understand wisdom. That's right, man. The commandments of life was only given to the children of Israel. And we read a, enough scriptures on it, man. How the Lord's only dealing with the children of Israel. Once again, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Hebrew Israelites. Okay? So with that, Lord, when it was an edifying video, before I go any further, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's own begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us his truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And now shall I warm to all the sincere Akims, man, throughout the four corners of the earth. Pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.